Hey guys, Zen here, and Operation Solar Raid is the big one. Changes to ranked, check. A new defender that can see through walls, check. A brand new map. Yeah, guys, in this video, we're going over every big change that's here, so you know exactly what to expect. Solus has a couple new features that make it impossible for a few specific operators to push undetected, and there's a huge nerf to two operators that have become massively popular over time. There's a lot, and so I've cherry-picked the absolute must-know updates, and so let's get into this. But quickly, there's a few highlights. The brand new Nighthaven Labs map is an extension of Nighthaven's headquarters with tons of breakable soft walls and even some cheeky access points. It's become one of my favorites, and you're pretty much guaranteed to try it because it is unbannable at the start of the season. Then there's also Solus, the new defender from Columbia with the SEC IO electro sensor gadget. These goggles can see and ping attacker gadgets through walls and floors using the cluster scan. And for me, the best part is that she comes with the P90. Her other option is the ITA 12L shotgun in the primary slot and the legendary SMG 11 for the secondary. Then there's rank 2.0. MMR is no more. Instead, you've got rank points that go up or down based on the match. Emerald is the new rank that sits between Platinum and Diamond, and each rank has five divisions with 100 rank points per tier. And crossplay and cross progression are finally here. Console players can squad up with friends from other consoles once they sign into Ubisoft Connect, and after logging in, you'll get all of your currencies and items shared across all platforms. And lastly, a new battle pass that allows you to plan your progression and unlock rewards tailored to your specific goals. And so thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring the video, and guys, click the link below to buy now. So there is one update that affects every single step you take while aim down sight, and depending on your choice of operator, things will feel very different this season. All operators, regardless of their speed stat, now move at the exact same speed while ADS. This is a much bigger update than it seems, because it means that whether you're a heavy and slow 3 armor or a super agile 3 speed operator, once those sights get brought up, everyone is on equal footing. Jiggle peeking, ADS movement, and all that was done just faster by 3 speeds, and it gave them a huge advantage in the gunfight. What they actually did was slow down the ADS movement for two and three speed operators to be at the same exact speed of a three armor. It's subtle, but you will definitely feel the difference, especially since three armors are typically picked less than the faster three speeds. But next up, this operator. Guys, Alibi has become the most popular defender in Rainbow Six Siege, even outpacing Jaeger, and one of the only operators in history to take up this spot after only really receiving nerfs. Just look at this graph. Three speeds were slowed down, and that affected her. Her MX4 Storm got increased recoil, and that was amazing blow, and yeah, the ACS-12 got some help, but hasn't really meant too much to Alibi. People just simply caught on to the fact that when you pair a super high fire rate weapon with a 1.5 scope, you get one of the most lethal and dangerous weapons in Rainbow Six Siege, and after this, Alibi blew up. But since this has caught fire, and her popularity shot up basically overnight, the almighty balance hammer has come for her, and now, the MX-4 Storm no longer has the 1.5. They say, the MX-4 Storm with the 1.5 sight is a very fun weapon to to use, and having an agile operator paired with it is a refreshing and interesting way to dethrone Jaeger's high presence. But Alibi's presence is going up too fast, and her KD is also too high, so we'll remove the sight. Now, this does two things. The first is obviously nerf the MX4 1.5 combo and slow down Alibi's presence. But the second is to open up the opportunity for the extremely underrated ACS-12 shotgun to be played. This weapon absolutely slaps, and it's criminal that it isn't used more. But there's also a nerf coming to the AK-12. They've reduced the damage of the AK-12 by 5, so now its damage stat is maxed out at 40. This obviously affects Ace and Fuse, and means there's a little less firepower coming out of these two, and it's interesting, because with the major LMG nerf, it means Fuse's arsenal isn't as dominant as it once was, and if you haven't noticed, Fuse has started to become very popular, so it's been dialed back. And the last big nerf has come to the FMG9, and guys, with how popular Nulk has become, I can't say this was a blindside, and it's actually not too bad. The recoil has been increased and pushed slightly to the left. Once they removed the damage effect of silencers, Nalk became famous in the meta, and she's up in pick rate with Thatcher and Twitch, with the second highest win rate next to Blitz for all attackers. But I actually don't think this nerf will do too much to slow that down, and as for Smoke, well, he's a shotgun main, even if I'm one to run the FMG9, and called a copper because of it. And while we're on the topic of operators, the newest operator from Columbia has two special features that people literally just figured out. So for one, 
Solus can always, and that means always, spot Blitz. As long as her gadget is active, she can spot Blitz as long as his shield is in his hands. Always. He doesn't have to flash someone or be on cooldown. In fact, if he does flash someone, for that half of a second, she actually can't track him. But right after, she's back to seeing him. And so if he's moving with the shield equipped, Solus can spot him. And that makes for a huge counter to Blitz and forces him to either run with the shield on his back or charge in head first without fear to try and stop her. Blitz really cannot catch a break and this just adds another major opposition for him. But Solus brings something truly special with being able to track down the trackers. Basically, Solus can pick up any jackal that's using the goggles and that's just using them. He doesn't have to be actively scanning or anything. If they're on, she can see you. Also, of course, IQ and even Nock anytime she's using the hell gadget. Nock is picked a lot and traps have always been the number one defense against her. But now it's Solus because she will see you coming from every angle if you use Nock for what she's made to do. And so it's not just about seeing enemy drones or thermite charges in Claymores. Solus specializes in punishing attackers for using their utility. And it's incredibly demoralizing because you have to constantly think about if it's worth it to turn on those glasses as Jackal or snoop around as Nock. But now Nighthaven Labs. A lot of you guys have been asking for my opinion on the map with a quick breakdown. So here it is. I think Nighthaven Labs is genuinely one of the best maps currently on offer in the ranked map pool. Let's be honest, most of the maps in Siege, especially the ones in ranked are run down holdups or places that have already had police intervention and have an aesthetic to show for it. Nighthaven Labs is clean and it has a more sleek and vibrant tone which can affect how visible you are. Tactically, it is a close quarters map. Unless the gunfights are happening outside, the internals of the map are a lot of rooms and hallways and so the first weapon I recommend is a shotgun to dish out the most damage on this map. As for bomb sites, I think the second floor commander center and the basement assembly and tank are the more favorable but each one has a unique feature to it that can be competitive. Overall, it's one of the most balanced maps across the board. I haven't seen any egregious spawn peaks or runouts, and the map has been added to ranked. And actually, it replaces Favela this season because it's been pulled from the ranked map pool. And for that, I think it's the more competitive option. Next is the update that we've waited literal years for, but crossplay and cross progression are now in Rainbow Six Siege. Console players can now play together regardless of which platform they're on. You're able to party up, voice chat, and add each other through Ubisoft Connect. And again, all of your your stuff comes with you and so if you've been hoarding black ice on xbox it comes with you to playstation and even your renown and r6 credits get piled in together and you can stack them across platforms it's one of the biggest community driven updates and one that i think a lot of people will enjoy so rejoice crossplay and cross progression are now in rainbow six siege and ubisoft is doing something quite innovative this season and they're introducing a tactical battle pass you essentially choose your path pretty much all battle passes have worked the same way where there's a couple tracks and as you go you unlock tiers. But what do you do when you've got rewards for over 60 operators and everyone has their main? This tactical battle pass allows you to choose a path based on your likes and unlock tiers as you progress. And one of the newest additions you'll find here are drone skins. They finally did it. Rainbow is Magic was the only time the drones got a makeover in Siege. And so they've opened it up and allowed drones to have skins now. And the only other thing that you should know for this video are the new team colors that extend to enemy and friendly gadgets. You can assign a specific color to help keep track of who who and what gadgets are for each team. It's a major quality of life feature and the perfect addition to accessibility. And that's it. Here's another thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring the video. And guys, remember to click the link in the description to buy now. Hey, I'm out.